to make an interesting game that creates immersion and delivers fun experience. Beautifully crafted art assets can be a significant help to achieve that. However, they are often very time consuming to make. Sometimes assets like background is just not the most important thing to the game, but it is large and might not be worth to spend too much time on. Plus, if you're like me, with very little art talent, the process can get even more difficult. Because of those reasons, many indie developers use different tools to make acceptable assets to place in their game. For example, procedural generation is a popular technique. It takes a small set of assets and places them repeatedly across the map. But not only that will generate a noticeable level of repetition, it also still requires time to create the assets. Techniques like this might not be optimal for game jams or hobby. Therefore, with the help of computational photography techniques, we would like to propose a better way to do this. In our pipeline, the user only provides segmented photos as inputs, which is extremely easy to generate with today's software, and they will receive pleasing assets to be placed into a game. Although it might take a little bit of computational processing time, it reduces the manual labor involved to create the assets. If you're not an artistically trained person, or maybe you didn't enjoy doing art stuff, or just simply you want to go into developing game mechanics as soon as possible, this pipeline is made for you. So let us explain the process. Our pipeline to create 2D, pixelated, and parallax-ready backgrounds consists of the following steps. Depth estimation informed interactive segmentation. Palette simplification and editing through k-means color clustering. Graph cut texture generation for image extension with optional pixelation style transfer. Segmentation is a complex task without a perfect automated solution. We use interactive segmentation to get our input images, although inputs from other sources are acceptable. Depth estimation techniques can help users easily obtain segmentation masks. As we're producing parallax-ready images, this depth information can also be useful when integrating images with a game engine. We use depth estimates and the GIMP Magic Wand selection tool to segment our images. Segmentation results can be manually touched up here, but this step is not always required. Color palettes are extracted and simplified using k-means clustering. Our method allows for editing of clustered colors as desired with a simple GUI. The color clustering introduces salt and pepper noise that we remove using a bilateral filter. The input image is then downscaled to begin the pixelation process. The reduced image size also serves to greatly improve the runtime of our texture generation step. While the input image is small, we use graph cut texture generation to extend it to the desired length. The method from GraphCut Textures Image and Video Synthesis using GraphCuts by Quatra et al. is used to produce believable images at reasonable speeds. Options are provided to adjust generation parameters, allowing users to tune image coherency, randomness, and other attributes. After upscaling to their final resolutions, the generated background layers are ready to be used in-game. So let's see them in action. Notable failures in generation occur when inputs contain strong global gradients. Smooth changes in color, brightness, or shape severely limit the graph cut algorithm's ability to find good seam locations. In this forest scene, note the gradual downward slope of the upper edge. 
This image also has strong shadows in the lower corners, but not in the image's center. The image shape makes matches generally difficult. The shadow gradients make end-to-end -end matches seem reasonable. These two factors combine to produce this jagged top result. When avoiding global gradients in favor of small frequent gradients, we do not see these artifacts.